video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take a very basic brush, in this case a dot design brush, one of the graphic extras brushes, but it could be used with other brushes as well, and convert it into a much more interesting brushes using colour dynamics and much more. So first thing to do, we've just got the brush settings here and brushes. <clears throat> so window and brush settings there and brush. You can import brushes, of course there's a whole range of brushes there you can see, but you can just quickly import more, just go to the import brushes. So import brushes, select the ABR file, these ones are the dot brushes I was talking about. So now, just going to select one and just going to apply a very basic brush, and that's okay, you've got lots of little dots there, and you can use that, perfect fine. But if you want to actually extend it a little bit more, you can add shape dynamics, dual brush, and much more. So colour dynamics, that's a good start. So got here red and orange, and this is going to be the foreground and background jitter. So straight away you can just see you can modify that. You can also use pressure. So pen pressure, if you're using a pen, you can actually just, just control that. You can modify the spacing, probably even more interesting, so you can actually see it a bit better. So I'm just going to fill that again with white. Go there. Now you can actually see a little preview here, but it's obviously best just to use it within the thing. You can see the design there. Now, what you can do then, you can also modify hue jitter and you can modify saturation as well as purity. So if you want to sort of make that sort of more black and white, do that. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it at a, just basically there, right in the center and apply it like that. Now, one of my favorite ones to use, dual brush. Now, what dual brush means is you can use any of the brushes here as just changes, modifies, cuts out certain parts of the brush so, so you can select any number of these brushes and I'm just going to go down here, obviously all these dot brushes but you can use the ones that come with the with Photoshop so you can model straight away you can see you're creating some very very interesting just by using the just the standard dual brush and you can also modify that so it's not just so literally thousands and thousands of brushes, dot brushes can be created from this so you can just you can see straight away you can modify how much of the brush or not and spacing and see the actual design there you can just see it there so if I just change that you can just see it modify that and you can apply that and you can just see the brush straight away you can see it's a much more unusual and interesting brush than before so whoops undo brush and you can also use transfer so that's opacity now personally I mean it's not so great, but it creates a nice sort of, sort of disappearing. And again, you can add pen pressure and much more. So I'm just going to keep that off. You can also add texture, which is of course like patterns and all those sort of things. Again, something that I particularly don't use. It doesn't seem to ever be that great effect. I mean, it's, it's interesting, but it's you can see it. Now, you've got the brush stroke there. You can see the that's getting more like what I want. It's sort of like sort of rough distress sort of design. And now what you can also use, you can use the blending mode. So I've just got normal there, so I'm gonna just apply it normal. And you don't have to keep the same color, of course. You can just go over here, maybe make that out there, and you've got the brushes like that. You can also go and change the opacity. So if you say want well, maybe a little bit of fade there, just a bit. No, just gonna keep that 100%. Right, so actually once you've done all that and you've got so the blending mode, let's say I'm going to go for multiply, you can use that. What you can do, you can save this. So you've got brush settings, you can then just go to new brush preset and with <clears throat> 2018, you've got here the brushes, you've got the little brush size, you've got the capture, include tool settings and colour. So all of that has been saved. Click OK and you can see the brush there. Obviously if you you can then just move it around, so if you don't want it in, particularly in that one, you can move it out of the group, move it down there, and move it there. There's one I created earlier, so again, that's been captured. See the thing? You can go back now to that, and there's your brush stroke. It's just literally one dot brush it can be created, thousands of dot brushes, just simply by modifying it and using these brush settings. Now, another thing, of course, just change the color. Don't have to keep that colour, just go there and and also of course you can also go back to up to there, normal, 
because sometimes it's obviously slightly better when it's a lighter colour like that. Right, anyway, that's it for the dot brushes, but literally thousands of dot brushes from a single brush. And of course there are about odd hundred brushes in there, so you see the possibilities for brushes within Photoshop. And of course there's similar sort of things you can do in other applications like Affinity, Photo and many more. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.